Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Epic Speed Driver from Callaway. Hello, I'm Anna Whiteley and welcome to Golf Central on YouTube. The USGA and the RNA are re-engaging with the golf industry on the Distance Insights Project, which aims to help achieve a more sustainable long-term future for golf. The governing bodies are issuing specific areas of interest to help mitigate continuing distance increases and three proposed changes to the equipment rules to ensure their effectiveness in relation to distance limits. The areas of interest notice sent on Monday to golf equipment manufacturers follows the conclusions of the Distance Insights report delivered last February. It is the first step of the established equipment rulemaking procedures which give the opportunity for golf stakeholders to provide research and perspectives on topics that might lead to equipment rules changes. In addition, three proposals related to equipment standards were also sent to the manufacturers yesterday and have been published. The one that stands out? A proposal to adopt a model local rule that would provide flexibility for committees, if they so choose, to limit the maximum length for clubs other than putters from 48 to 46 inches. Members of the USGA and the RNA explained the decisions earlier on Golf Today. The key message is that last February, before the pandemic really um, changed all of our lives, we had finished two years research into um, the impact of distance on, uh, on our sport. And at that point we concluded, said that um, longer distances, longer courses, longer time to play is taking the game in the wrong, the wrong direction. Um, we have been on hold for a year because of the pandemic. Um, and the, 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 today is an important day for the sport because this is, this is the next stage of, of that debate and uh, hopefully the, the next stage of very constructive, serious debate about how we take our sport forward. We have this cycle of increasing his, hitting distance that's been going on generation after generation and we, don't, we believe it's gonna continue. And Jaime, what this, what this has done, this increased hitting distance, is it's caused golf courses around the world to change. And when golf courses lengthen or they change, they move bunkers, they plant trees, um, this costs the game money. It costs the game more time to play because you're playing on a bigger, bigger golf course, bigger arena, so to speak. It costs the game more resources like water, like you know, maintenance, labor all of which are not friendly to the environment. And, and for those golf courses that can't lengthen, and certainly we know some of the, the old gems of, of the so-called golden era, when they can't ex, you know, expand, architectural integrity, at least for some golfers, are compromised. Or the variety of skills that's taken by some players really is lessened and compromised. The main issue as I see it is that continuing length is not the right thing for the for, for, for the game from from terms of distance from terms of time to play from sustainability but for me the really important thing is this balance between skill and technology and um, technology is great in helping the get difficult game make the make it a little bit easier but at the very elite level um, perhaps that balance is not is not there. So this is an area of research into um, how do we um, think about equipment going forward. This phase really is about engaging with golf equipment manufacturers, uh, you know, different industry organizations and golfers themselves. And we're going to get this right. It won't again happen tomorrow, but the time is right now. We've been putting this off way too long. And th this really is about the long-term health and enjoyment for the game and for future generations. As we look at today, what we've issued are very technical documents. It's part of our rulemaking procedure that we follow with the equipment manufacturers. Uh, what this means for golfers at large, look, last February we came out with our distance report where we identified that there's a problem of distance, golf courses continuing to lengthen, drive distance continuing to lengthen, and we wanted to identify solutions. We were going to enter the research phase last year. However, we went on pause simply because of COVID. And so today, the documents we've released are just that. They're areas of research that we want to engage with the manufacturing community on to look at long-term solutions. Nothing's happening overnight. Nothing's happening tomorrow. 
this is about you know the long-term health of the game, and this really is that first step in our journey on finding solutions. Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Epic Speed Driver from Callaway.